What is up guys? Fire here from Azuz.com and I don't know what this means every single time in the last few videos I'm doing this. I don't know what it means, but hey live with it and this is something I didn't do for a while my rant videos my two cents videos how I call them and I saw the need to do so because I got an interesting question in one of my courses from one of the students and that's something that I have struggled with that's something a lot of beginners like literally every beginner is struggling with no exceptions so let me just read the question so the question is does this course teach us everything we need to know to code in C sharp for any game in unity now again for those people who are gonna be heroes on the internet spreading the justice and defending the poor against the rich defending the weak against the the whatever the strong I forgot the word I'm not bashing this student I'm not making fun of him I'm not doing anything like that as I said this is an issue I had this is an issue a lot of beginners have and that is again the question is does this course teach us everything we need to know to code in C sharp for any game in unity literally people enroll in courses so that they can learn how to code every game. It's, and that's something that's not possible. The issue with that is that a lot of people see my course or course from somebody else, for example, how to create an RPG game. So he enrolls in the course to learn how to create an RPG game. And he thinks that that will teach him everything he needs to know to code any RPG game that he wishes. It's not how it goes. It's not how online courses work. It's not how you should think about learning game development or think about learning how to code games. So it's not how it works. The courses are there. The examples are there. Now, somebody will, will ask okay but what are the courses for what are the examples there for well the courses and the examples are there for to give you just that examples teach you how game development works how you should think like a game developer how you should think like a game developer how you should how you should configure your brain so to say to think like a programmer to think problem solving to think logically and that's how you will approach problems and that's how you will solve problems in programming and game development. So when you go through the examples, for example, in my courses, if you go through one of my courses, two courses, you create 10, 20 games, that should be enough to give you an idea how game development works, how the process works, how you should build your character, how you should build enemies, how you should build collectible items, your gameplay mechanics, so on and so forth. It's not there for you to copy paste that and create a game that you're going to publish on Steam and tell your friends, you did it like a lot of people are doing for whatever reason. I mean, if it's if you wish to have a game online that badly, don't enroll in a course and copy paste it and just publish that under your name. I, I don't see the satis satisfaction in there. You will not earn any money. You will not get any downloads. What is the point? What is the point? Instead, you should focus on learning the fundamentals. This is my point. This is how you will learn to code any game in C Sharp and Unity. Focus on learning the fundamentals, understanding how programming works, understanding how object-oriented programming works, how you can implement that in your game, how you can use that to create the gameplay mechanic for your game. So, for example, if you go through a course that teaches how to create an RPG game, then a 3D zombie shooter game, for example, 3D infinite runner game. And after you finish that, you want to create your own top-down game. You didn't saw the top-down game example in the course, how you can approach that, how you can, what you need to do. Well, think logically, okay? Start thinking, okay, what do I need to create a top-down shooter game? Okay, I need a game character. Okay, that's the, that is the one game object in the game who is going to be the main focus of the whole game. Okay, how can I create? Okay, in this course we did a character. Okay, so we had the camera following him. I can utilize that. Okay, so character, create a character movement, then set the camera to follow the player. Okay, he can move here, he can move there. I can put some bounds to strict him. Okay, what is the next step? Okay, I need enemies. Okay, in this course we created enemies. That's how enemy creation goes. They can have their own AI. So then you start thinking about your own logic, how your enemies will be behave in your own game based on what you learn in the courses that you took. You should not enroll in courses to learn how to create every game because it's not possible. That is simply not possible. 
like if you enroll in my course how to create a shooter game how to create a 3d platformer game how can you create a grand theft auto game out of that or a game similar to that you can't because i didn't teach you how to create a car you know how to drive a car so on and so forth but if you utilize that logic that i taught in that course then you will be able to create that on your own this is the point of the courses it's it's not the point for you to copy paste things and then publish games and whatever people do and i'm not saying you you watching the video but i'm you know metaphorically speaking to the person who does those things so again instead of enrolling the courses just so that people can you know copy paste things and learn how to create this specific game like if you want to implement your own feature you will not know how to do that if you don't learn the fundamentals of game development if you don't learn how gameplay mechanics work how game development works game design works so on and so forth so this is what i want you to focus on and i see the exact same issue now this is when it comes to courses and i see the exact same issue with the tutorials this is one of the comments i got recently on one of my monetization tutorials and the guy commented he's like another hour wasted of my life for nothing it does not work again dude this tutorial is not there to give you step by step do this implement that and you have ads working in your game it's to show you how to implement that and if you know programming at least like a little bit like this only if you're not a complete 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 beginner if you code it for more than two weeks the information I give you in that video will be enough for you to implement monetization on your own in your own game. But no, people just want to copy paste things. People are lazy and then call themselves game developers. You repeat, not repeat, you should. I mean, people should repeat this, but memorize this in your head. You are not a game developer if you just go and copy paste tutorials to create something in your game. I'm sorry to say to, to say this to you, but you are not a game developer if you just copy paste things. You are a game developer if you know how to create things on your own. Is it okay to use help for tutorials and online resources? Yes, of course it is, everybody does that. But for every single thing, like man, you should use my tutorial as a starting point, how you can implement. If something is not working, fix it. Are you a programmer or not? Fix it, dude. Don't wait, you know, just, oh, it doesn't work. Man, and it, this is not because he said he wasted time on my tutorial. I'm well aware that I will not be able to satisfy every single person online when it comes to my content, and I'm not trying to, and I don't care. I'm trying to satisfy the people who actually love my content and benefit from it. Those are the people that I focus on and try to serve and provide more value. Those who don't, I don't care about them. It's simple as that. But my point is, if you follow the tutorial and something is not working, fix it. Fix it, dude. Are you, are you a programmer? That's how you will learn more. And as I said, use my tutorial as a starting point, not as a foundation of building everything. So yeah, this is, and why am I telling you all this? Well, the reason for that is these exact same things that I just told you are responsible for me learning game development for over a year. If I knew this, what I told you just right now, it would have probably taken me three months or four months to learn game development. I will cut at least half a year of time learning game development by focusing on what's important while I am learning and not focusing on copy pasting things and yada, yada, yada. So focus on the important things, focus on the what you need to learn the fundamentals so for example if you are driving a car and i use this example a lot because i really love it and it's the it's very suitable for this situation if you're learning how to drive a car and you go to in a driving school or whatever they are called and you know the instructor has a volkswagen so you only learn how to drive a volkswagen right when you try to go on on a mercedes-benz or an audi or a bmw you don't know how to drive does it work like that no, it doesn't because you learned the fundamentals of driving a car. You learned how to move the steering wheel. You knew, learned when to press the gas, when to press the brake, how to, you know, put the car into the drive mode, into the R mode, you know, reverse mode, however is it called, yada, yada, yada. You get the point. So you learn the fundamentals, how to do it. Then you can do that on any car you wish 
this is how you should think about tutorials and not only copy pasting things. So these are my two cents that I didn't do for a very long time. I also didn't stream for two weeks. I will probably stream soon because I was tired, man. I did a lot of things anyways. Fire here from usdudes.com. Thank you for watching this video and check out my Ultimate Game Development Academy. Link is in the description below. Until next video, I will see ya then. Bye bye.